Hi guys, and welcome to another Python project tutorial. In this video, we will be creating a journal application which I have been using for the past couple of months. How it works is when you run the program, it creates a new file for you with custom journal prompts. It saves the file in an organized directory tree of the year, then the month, and then the file, which is named after the current date of the month. If I write something to the file, and save it, and close it, if I run the program again, it will simply open up the current day's journal. Before this tutorial starts, I'm currently releasing videos on Python and Unity every week, so if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. If you find this video helpful, make sure to smash like and subscribe to show your support, and without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by importing the modules that we'll be using. So start with import OS for access to the operating system. This allows us to do things like creating files and folders. Then from date time, we'll import date. If you don't have date time installed yet, simply open up the command prompt and type pip install date time, just like that, and hit enter. As I already have it installed, I am not going to run it. Finally, we will need to import subprocess. Now let's create the variables that we will be using. First, we'll create entries dir for entries directory is equal to entries. This is the relative directory that we will store entries in. Next, we'll set the default text equal to anything that you would like. For now, I will simply say three things I am grateful for. After this, I'll put a new line character then a dash, another new line character, and a dash, and one more for the three things. This is the text that will be displayed when we create a new entry. Finally, we'll need our application. For now, I'll simply set this to notepad.exe. This is the application that we will open the file in. After this, let's create our function structure. I'll have def main, then def get entries absolute path. This will simply return the absolute path to the entries directory. After this, let's create get target duh for get target directory. This will take in the entries absolute path. Then we'll need def go to directory. This will take in a target directory. And finally we'll need def create new entry. This will take in the default text and also the application. Finally, at the end, we'll say if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main, then call the main function. In the get entries absolute path function, I'll simply say script directory or script dir is equal to os.path.dirname, os.path.absPath underscore underscore file underscore underscore. This will simply give us the absolute path to our current script. And then I'll return os.path.join, the script dir, and the entries dir. Now in the get target dir function, I'll say year is equal to date.today.strf time, and then in quotation marks, percent uppercase y. This will return us the year in a format such as 2021. Then I'll do a similar thing for month, with month equal to date dot today dot strf time, this time percent capital B. This will give us the month name, April. Finally, I'll say target dir is equal to os dot path dot join, entries, absolute path, the year and the month. Then I'll return the target directory. Now let's implement go to dir. 
this will be very simple. We'll say try os.make dirs of the target dir. This will simply try to create the folders if they don't already exist. And if they do, we'll return an error. So I'll say accept pass and then os.chdir for os.change directory to the target dir. Now let's implement the create new entry function. To do this, first we need to get the file name. For this, I'll again say month is equal to date.today.strf time of percent %b. Then I'll simply copy and paste this line and say day is equal to date.today.strf time percent lowercase d. This will give us the date in a number such as 01. And then I'll say file name is equal to an f string of the month space and then the day dot txt to make it a text file. Now we need to create the file if it does not exist. To do this, I'll say if not os.path.exists of the file name, then with open the file name in write mode, so a w as f f dot write the default text. And I realize that we actually don't need it as an input to this function as we have it globally accessible. Finally, we need to open the file. To do this, I'll call some process dot p open and this takes in an application and the file name. Remember we define the application up at the top here. Finally, let's implement the main function. In here, I'll say global entries dir default text and application to access the global variables. And then I'll set the entries absolute path equal to get entries absolute path. Then target dir equal to get target dir of the entries absolute path. Then call go to dir, passing in the target directory. And finally create new entry, passing in our application. And right now I'm realizing that we don't actually have to pass in this application. So you can remove this and remove it from the global. And also remember to remove it from the input. Now we should be able to test it out. So open up the folder which contains your program, then double click on it to try running it. You will see that it successfully opened up the journal with three things I'm grateful for and then three dashes for us to input whatever we want to in here. You can of course change these prompts to be whatever you want to. And I have a typo here with a pound sign instead of a three. If you want to change the application to something else such as sublime text, Simply find the path to that application that you want to use and paste it instead of notepad.exe. For example, if I wanted to use Sublime, I would simply put this instead. Then running the program would open this up in Sublime text. That's it for this tutorial and I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions or video requests, please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.